how I know about this one. I know that for a fact. put it on I put the clips the comes all the way at the front like all the way up the front of my braid so that by the time I get to the back it doesn't push all the way back and it, it's sitting at a point where it kind of looks natural that it's coming from my head even though we know it's not but you know what I mean Also, I always, ever since I got this, okay, so, rewind. Me getting this unit, I did not want it to be like the other videos that I'd seen where people wear it in like, um, kind of like a, a big bush or defined bush type of thing. Um, I kind of wanted it to mimic virgin bundles a little bit where um, where they're like really defined ringlets and so that's like the, the vibe I was I wanted to give off with this unit right here. I look mad tired it's because my eye keeps watering yeah so I wanted it off more like a ringlet feel rather than like a really big um you know hair type of feel and you know i'm one for big hair but not for this one because i really tossed up buying this in the first place because i had seen reviews or you know like um people showing the hair where after just a few weeks it already looks dry and ugly and busted even after they cut it it, it just looks like it needs to be retired. And I was like, that's not about to be me. And I know the exact reason why it looks like that. Because I've dealt with curly, wavy hair for such a long time. Especially curly, wavy, synthetic hair. Um, and that is because you did all of this messing around with it straight out from the box. Kept touching it, kept doing all of this. Which, it looks nice for the first couple of days. What's this? When I tell you after... A week of straight wear that shit looks like it needs to be trashed and if you're paying fifty dollars fifty dollars for a synthetic unit not even a blend and you trash it within the first week you wasted your money <laughs> that's what you did you wasted your money you wasted it you wasted it <laughs> so i was like i really i know this is a really long, long unit I know that it has two different curl textures. I already knew that before purchasing it. So I kind of knew that I, I want them to blend into each other. I knew that it would probably have the tendency to look busted if um, it was like really big and stuff like that and look dry. So all of that meant to me that straight out the box, I need to put some mousse in this bitch. Like it needs to be moussed down and it needs to be moussed to the point where like it, it looks like how it should be if that makes sense it looks like it should be wranglets it doesn't need to be like some big mass of a unit and i i've actually worn this for three days straight and it still looks like this and when i tell you it just started to have just a little bit of like clumping, tangling in the back. Just a little bit of it, like this, just a little bit. Just like yesterday. And we all know that with curly units, that starts on day one, bitch. Starts on day one. So I can tell that this is gonna last me a bit. Just because of the way that I'm taking care of it. I know how to, my worn wig 
weeks for over five years. I know how to take care of them. But yeah, so this is the life that I am living with this one. I know I'm a little out of focus back here, but. I love this. I thought that it was gonna be a little bit too bright in terms of what I wanted. I wanted like a wine with a touch of red, just like the other unit. As you can see, they are not exactly the same. This is brighter. Um, and so I was like, mm, I didn't want it to be too bright, but I'm really sorry about my eyes, but I got your eyes and I refused to put product um, but yeah, so what I use is my mousse is just argan oil mousse and I can show you guys. It smells so good. That's how I was talking about the smell of the hair. Like it smells so good. I just do this. If I'm running late, I do it in the morning. If I have enough time in my life, I do it the night before, put it into its little net, fold, like put it. You know like how the wig already comes like folded um like this put it in that same manner and just like lay it down in the morning it will be flat honey this is the type of unit where it's bright it's bright it's long as hell it's curly like it has like the lace where it can look like it's growing from scalp, but come on sis, we know that it's not. Um, so you still want it to look like, I know that's not her hair, but is that her hair? You know what I mean? You don't want it to look like a big ass mass of synthetic fibers. You don't want that. You want it to look kind of like as real as possible. Um, so that being said, you don't want it to be looking big, bushy, wild, out of control, and it's big and red. <laughs> if I saw that in the street, I would, and I give props to people, but I would be like, what is going on? What's going on? So yeah, as far as this parting, first of all, there's barely any parting place. It's like, yeah, it's like right here. As far as um, that goes, I haven't really determined how I want to wear it yet um so far i've just been wearing it like this i might just like keep shifting it um this is kind of like it's this is it centered like the back of the comb is like directly in line with the front of my head or the middle of my head um but i haven't decided how i want to wear it like i'm kind of fine with it like this this is this was how it was straight out the box like how it naturally flowed so i'm kind of fine with how that is right there as I said, and as the different reviews online said, I just really love how, if all of the curls in this unit really did look like this, it would be really pretty. But I do like how the rest are ringlets and the ones around your face are thicker. I do like that actually. Because if they all look like this, I would want to separate it. But I like how Look at it, just nice and tame. Barely any flyaways. Baby looks like this is some bundles. And then I also put some argan oil the other day. I started doing this because I really don't want it to be looking dull. It's just too bright for all of that. Just put it very lightly. You don't want it to be looking shiny. You don't want it to be looking dull. You want it to look vibrant. It's the fall. It's already starting to look dark outside. It's like 12 noon and it already looks like it's dark outside. You don't want your hair looking like moon time. Like you want your hair looking vibrant. And also another thing 
um, with the loose, I like bunch up the ends like how you would regular hair because I don't want it to be looking like dirty string at the end of my hair. But yeah, it's been doing a very good job on not, um, not matting up, not, this one doesn't really shed. And I'm surprised about that, but that's also because I don't like touch it. I don't continue touching it, playing it, zhuzhing it. I don't do all of that. So there's no time for me to even pull out strands. <laughs> like y'all really be out here fighting with your hair. You don't need to do that. You don't. If you're feeling that, you know, something, you can gently, you know, check it out. But don't do too much. That's just what I'm saying. Don't do too much. Like I said, I haven't made it, but when I usually when I wear makeup, it blends perfectly. If I'm not wearing makeup that day, because I don't wear makeup every day. I really rarely wear makeup except for if I just got a new unit and I feel like completing it like yeah, i'm stepping out then i put like a little foundation and stuff but um if not then like my pretty usual day today is to use some setting powder shout out to her style yo because she's the one who taught me how to do this I, it's like I knew how to do it before, but she really like showed like examples and stuff of what you can buy. It doesn't matter about the brand is really what she like emphasized. It doesn't matter about the brand. It just matters about the color matching the scalp. And obviously this is not, <laughs> what the hell? This is not my skin color, but it's not about matching the skin, it's about matching the scalp. What I usually do, I can make a video about how I lay my hair, but I don't need to. That's so crazy, I love this unit. I don't need to. Bitch, why didn't y'all tell me? <laughs> I did all of that searching. It matches perfectly. Yeah, look at that. What? Let's talk about it, bitch. Like, when the wind blows, yeah, it blows. But I'll probably just do what I did with my other burgundy unit as far as my edges go. But yeah, and then usually I do bobby pins to keep my units in place anyway. So with this, I don't have to on the sides. Um, this is what I usually do. On other units, I bobby, like not only do I use combs, but I bobby pin the sides. But with this, both of them are, well, this one is tight. The other one is, like I said, small head friendly that shit ain't going nowhere um but what i have been doing like for the back just so that like it doesn't slide like so it stays in place not for security but for reassurance i take the bobby pin and i put it at the back like my back braid i do that Y'all didn't tell me in the last video. Y'all ain't tell me in this one either. So, yeah. I put it at the back. But as far as the sides go for security, don't need to do it. Yeah. I never really wear it all the way to the front. thick and it has a 
tendency of like it can get big. So keep it tame, like it doesn't need to get that big. Because it already is very full and very thick. So it doesn't need to be a mess, y'all. Well, it so don't need to be a mess. But yeah.